Yeah, thanks for having me on the show. So we uh, Fitch rates uh, PLDT at triple B flat and Globe at triple B minus. And we believe this acquisition removes the overhang of impending competition from San Miguel Corporation. And it also provides a very important access to both PLDT and Globe to, to the efficient 700 megahertz spectrum. Uh, we, we have been saying that and we believe that it's very difficult for a third telco to come into this market and to get some market share away from PLDT and Globe, especially when PLDT and Globe are reluctant to share their network infrastructure assets. So San Miguel with its deep pockets and uh, earlier partner partnering with Telstra could have uh, created some kind of competition in, the, in this market, but now it's very difficult to visualize that uh, you know, a new entrant coming into this market will have any impact on PLDT and Globe. Now, Nitin, I mean, both companies will have a Solomonic equal share of the 700 megahertz and the telco assets of SMC, but they have a divergent strategy in terms of acquiring it. Financial-wise, PLDT is looking at, at the acquisition through its equity sale and beacon holdings in PLDT and Meralco, while Globe is doing it through debt. How do you think these strategies will position both companies vis-a-vis -vis each other after the deal? Sure. So we, both PLDT and Globe at their uh, respective ratings have moderate ratings headroom. And PLDT is going to finance this acquisition through sale proceeds from its 25% uh, its, uh, stake in Miralco, the electricity company. But uh, and we believe that our post-acquisition PLDT's FFO-adjusted net, net leverage will only increase by 0.1 or 0.2 times. However, for Globe Telecom, they are going to, uh, they have announced that they are going to fund this deal entirely uh, through debt. So their leverage will, will worsen more towards three times from 2.5 times uh, currently, which is still below their negative rating guidance, uh, which Fitch has at 3.5 times. So they still have some headroom uh, on their current rating level. All right, we talk about wiggle room, but let's talk about wiggle room in terms of strategy. Um, Globe will reap more benefits, according to your report, because of their exposure to the mobile sector. Um, in your opinion, how do you think PLDT can catch up and turn the tide to complete its digital pivot vis-a-vis -vis its competitor? Yeah, no, I think if you see the last two years, I think, um, you know, after the acquisition of uh, PLDT, uh, after the acquisition of digital by PLDT, uh, when this market became truly duopoly, Globe has actually benefited from that consolidation and Globe has been gaining market share. And now I think uh, the Globe has about 43% market share while PLDT has, uh, has the rest. And by the sheer size of, you know, smaller size of Globe, and because it's more exposed to the growing market of uh, uh, wireless services and the data services, it is, we believe that it is going to benefit more than, more than PLDT. And, you know, PLDT is already has, a, a, you know, a good market share at six, uh, about, you know, uh, around 60%. So it's very difficult to us, uh, us to visualize that PLDT gaining any market share from here on. I think Globe will create, gradually increase their market share towards 45, 46% mark. So Nathan, finally, you talk about upside for one player versus the other, but what about the industry in, in total? If, is there still room for a third player in light of these return frequencies by both companies? And should, what should the government do strategy-wise and regulatory-wise to bring in a more level playing field? See, if you look at different Southeast Asian markets, it's, it's significantly difficult for a late uh, telco entrant to come into the industry <clears throat> and to compete effectively against the incumbents. And PA Philippines is a, is a unique market where you have only two players. So we, we believe that it's, it's going to be very difficult for a new entrant to come into this, this market and to compete effectively against such dominating players like PLDT and Globe. And it, it, you, the new entrant not only needs financial flexibility, it also needs you know, a lot of uh, regulatory favors so as to allow uh, that new entrant to share 
uh, infrastructure with PLDT and, and GLOBE to use PLDT and GLOBE's infrastructure because if the new entrant comes in and create its own infrastructure, it will be just duplication of a lot of uh, infrastructure in, in the country. So it, we believe that it's going to be a very uphill task for a new entrant to have a meaningful market share in this market, even after the spectrum has been returned to the government.